Okay, so this is a redo of my 1940s, 50s pin curl video that I have done in the past called Poifect Pin Coils. Um, this is going to be the sister video to those videos as well as uh, kind of the go-to video for pin curling tips, tricks, that kind of thing. Let's talk a little bit about pin curling and why you need to learn to do it if you love vintage hairstyle. Well, pin curls have a very specific look. They've got a specific fall, they have a specific shape, and when you actually brush them out, they look different than any other set looks for the most part. Um, they are a lot easier to mold. They are an amazing for, pin, for victory rolls and other 1940s elaborate hairstyles. So I strongly suggest that no matter how frustrating it gets, you still try to pin curl, try to learn how to do it. Don't, just stick with it. Um, it is not necessary to follow a setting pattern when you're pin curling your own hair. Those patterns were typically meant for hairdressers anyway. You will see books from the 1940s and 50s that have these very elaborate and very precise setting patterns. Those are ideal. If you can do them on your own head and you're an artist in that sense, great. I'm not. I don't do them well on my own head. I hate doing setting patterns on my own head and rarely do I do it. When I set my hair parted on the side, I set it this side going forward and this side going backward because it's easier. Not because it looks best, not because it's my favorite, just because it's easier for me and I'm happy with the result and that's fine for me. Um, if I part my hair in the middle, I set both sides going forward and that's a little harder for me on this side, but I do that. Um, so that's my way of, of setting my hair. I typically don't follow a specific setting pattern unless I'm trying to accomplish a very specific look. And if I'm working on someone else, that's much easier. So not necessary to follow a setting pattern. Usually, if it is necessary, I will let you know in specific videos that I've done. But most of the time, if I say I set my hair in pin curls, I just set it my normal, typical sloppy way. Also, you'll see a lot of pictures from the 1950s of just everyday girls with their hair, uh, setting their hair up in, in pin curls. And most of the time it's kind of sloppy. The ones of Marilyn Monroe, the one of Marilyn Monroe that I did fairly recently, um, where she actually had a picture of herself with her pin curls. It is very, very basic and um, very simple, the way that she has them set up there. So not necessary for it to be super, super precise. Um, that, okay, securing your pin curl. You can do two bobby pins, or hair pins, sorry, the open ones like this, in an X-shaped formation. If you've got thicker hair, that works great. My hair's a bit fine, so I use a double-pronged clip like that. You're doing dry pin curls. You will find that these work amazingly well. It's just great to get these. Oh, products. Uh, I use a setting lotion called Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion. This is what I use on my wet hair after I take a shower. Now I have short bangs, so I have actually got them aimed off my face with gel because I, did, I wanted to train them off my face for the purpose of this video. Um, so while they're wet, that's what I do, but I also prep my hair with this Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion, which I love. And then I also will use sometimes a combination of water mixed with my Layrite Grooming Spray. Um, which I swear by. It smells a little manly, but it's awesome. Okay, so I mix that with water and I use that to kind of re-moisten my hair as I go. So that's it. Tools. Hands. That's all you need. Also, this is awesome. This is a pin curling tool and I have this. It's a sculpture pin curler. I have a link to the shop that sells these on my blog right now. They've sponsored my blog. Um, and this is an amazing little tool and I'll show you how to use it. It is really great for trying to get pin curls on the back of your head if you're wanting to go directionally and make things lay a certain way. Um, other tools that you may need. Um, you will need a rat tail comb for sectioning. Fine tooth comb. You will need a brush. This is a Denman styling brush. It is to me the piece de resistance of brushes. It's about nine bucks. It's Sally Beauty and it's a Denman brand, and it's awesome for brushing out pin curls, and um, it will work like nothing else. Um, and that's about it, that's all you need. Super easy, super cheap way to set the hair. Okay, so let's get started. Um, stand up pin curls are pin curls that stand up from the scalp, and because my bangs are somewhat short, I am going to um, do them as a stand up pin curl. Now, I washed my hair not long ago, but my hair dries super fast, so I'm gonna have to re-moisten. And what I use to re-moisten is my grooming spray mixed with, with um, water. It's like three parts water, one part grooming spray, y'all. It's very, very 
um, diluted and you can also use the um, lot of body setting lotion diluted like this and so what I do for my bangs and I'm doing my parting on the side this time is I just take a chunk wrap it around my finger now these are my short hairs so I don't have to be nearly as uh, careful with flyaways and frizzies um, and then I just wind it wind it in like this and use a clip to secure it and you'll see how this stands up from the head okay so I'm gonna get another little piece pin it okay on these longer pieces you'll see I usually wrap around my finger because my hair is not super long I don't want to um, make the curls too loose because they'll fall out so I do wrap around one finger if my hair is longer I wrap around two but I typically make a little circle and then roll it inwards keeping it taut okay and then I just keep going in like this until it makes a nice curl and I secure it to the head and those are stand-up curls Okay, now I'm going to do a, I'm going to attempt a pin curl wave on this side of my hair. And the way that you would typically do a pin curl wave is you would section off one section to go one way and then one section to go the back way. Now if you want pin curl waves, you do have to follow some sort of setting pattern. You saw that I rolled my hair towards my face a second ago. And I'm going to do that again here. And I'm just having to re-wet it because my hair is straight and so it needs to have some, some moisture. Okay. And you'll see this little piece that came loose here that I could technically have included in my bang portion, but I didn't see it. So I'm just going to include it in this portion. And just roll it in as you go. All right, and now because I want there to be some type of, well, I'm going to get one more on the back of my head here. I'm going to go this way with the second row here. So you'll see I've kind of sectioned off a little area to kind of give myself an idea of how I want to roll this. Okay, and then I'm going to take the first part. You know, if you're doing this on someone else, you can be a lot more precise and do specific one inch blocks and all that kind of stuff, but I don't do that on myself. Okay, so I'm going to get this piece nice and wet. And whereas I rolled this forward, like this around my finger, I'm actually going to roll it under my finger. Okay, and you'll see I'm placing this one going towards my face. And I am going to... clip this one flat. Now you'll see I clipped inside and left the top loose. You can clip over the whole thing. I don't really have all that much denting by doing that, even though I've heard a lot of people complain at me about it um, and say that you'll have denting. I don't really have any denting. And if my little fine hairs don't have a lot of denting by doing that, then I will continue to do it. However, you can clip inside the curl, even with a flat pin curl, as you can see. All right, so then I'm going to go to this next little section. Okay, so we've got those ones facing this way, and then we'll do the rest facing the opposite direction, the one that we, the way we did it initially. Now, in my prior video, I did say that I never set my hair wet. Um, I've, disco I've discovered that with shorter hair, I totally can. Um, I can set my hair wet, and it won't frizz too horribly on me because I know how to pin curl now. But if I have longer hair, I typically just spray it damp and start with dry hair. Okay, so I'm going to also go ahead and demonstrate to you this pin curl tool. Now this tool has a large end and a small end. This is the large end and this is the small end. It's obviously for that purpose, to do some small and some larger pin curls. I don't find that the two ends make that different of a pin curl. Um, they're really not that different in size, but this is how you use it. 
It's super easy. If you're used to doing rollers, this is going to be an extremely easy option for you. And all you do is take this little comb, comb through to the end, wrap the section around the pin curl tool, roll inwards, and then just slip it off the end and pin in place. A really great tool for learning and it's a really great tool for um, those parts of the head that are difficult to reach and that you can't see well. You just hold it in and you have a really good like little pin curl there. Okay, so when you get around to the back of your head, this is when it gets really more difficult because you can't really see what you're doing and you have to kind of go by feel. But you just, that's why I say just whatever direction is easier for you to do, just do it. But I typically just, um, just reach around and pin it any which way. And it usually still looks really nice. Very rarely have any major dents. It's not really about being perfect as much as it's about you being happy with the style. So if you're happy with it, great. If you're not, just try to improve. Try every time to improve. I get a lot of questions about the haircut that I have. My hair is layered. It is in a traditional 1940s midi plus bangs. I do not have the traditional front hair for the midi because I have bangs. But uh, if you get the midi plus, which is um, described in detail in my midi video that I did in January, it um, will show you exactly how to get that haircut. And that haircut is a really great haircut for um, for this particular look. Now on this side of the head, I usually just roll it however it's easier. It's always easier for me to just roll it over my finger like this, so I usually do that. It's not, um, you know, it's a whatever works for you. If you have a specific setting pattern, just keep working with it. You can follow the setting pattern on your own head with practice. but. The setting pattern can also really, really frustrate you if you're new at pin curling, so don't mess with the setting pattern if you're new at it. Just master the curl itself. Okay, so here I am doing this side and I am facing it away from my face because that's just the easiest thing for me to do. And I'll show you how to do these bobby pins or these hair pins if you're going to do a, a pin curl secured. With hairpins, you just slide one over it that way and one this way in an X-shaped formation, and it will hold the curl. But because my hair is really super fine, um, I can't really sleep with those type of bobby pins or these type of hair clips in because as soon as I move around, they start to move themselves. So you can use regular bobby pins, but I do find that those dent. That's my personal experience on that. So, of course, for my curls, I use these clips. And voila, that's the pin curl set. Let me see what it looks like in the back. Sometimes I'm surprised at myself, and sometimes it just looks like crap. This time, pretty typical. Again, this is entirely subjective and entirely based on your experience. If you find that you need to have a more precise setting pattern in order to get a good result, then practice until you can do that easily. If you find that you're happy with the way your curls look without being super precise like I am, then great. It usually takes about four hours for my pin curl set to dry. It will take a lot longer on some people. I like to sleep on my set and what I do is take um, a chiffon scarf and I'll wrap it up and tie it at the top kind of in between these curls and then I'll sleep on it and in the morning I've got a nice set. Uh, but the brushing out is the single most important part. So this is my pin curl set today and in about four hours we'll come back and brush it out and I'll go through that whole process with you.